Uh-oh, that's the fire alarm. Congratulations, sir. It's a healthy baby boy. I hate to tell you, though, your son has superpowers. What? How could that be? We gotta get out of here and fast. Hey, wait up. Oh my gosh, there's fire everywhere. How am I gonna get out of here? Please, someone, someone help. Wait, what? Huh? What? What's happening? Oh, ah! oh, oh my gosh, my son, he has superpowers. He just saved my life. Haha, <laughs> look at you, you stupid freak. I'm not a freak. Yeah, yeah, you are. You and your stupid superpowers. What, do you think you're special or something, showing them off? Can't really control them. Yeah, well, if you're gonna use them anyway, then I wanna be entertained, all right? Come on, do a trick. No, just leave me alone. Come on, come on, freak, you freak show. Do a trick, you stupid idiot. I'm not a freak. Stop calling me that. Yeah, if you don't do it, I'm gonna tell everyone in school that you're just a liar, all right, Charlie? I just wanna go home. What? <laughs> Nah, you ain't going home until you do the stupid magic trick with your stupid powers. Ugh! They're not stupid! Leave me alone! Ah! Uh-oh. I'm so sorry that this happened, sir. Well, just make sure it doesn't happen again. Keep your kid in line, got it? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm so sorry again. You better be sorry. This city doesn't need another supervillain. Got plenty of them already. But I'm not a supervillain. That's enough out of you, Charlie. Come on. It's time to go home. Listen, Charlie, what you did back there wasn't right. I know, Dad. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be, because just because you have powers doesn't give you the right to do those types of things. Yeah, but he started it. He pushed me first. But you shouldn't be stooping down to his level. You're better than that. You need to take control of your powers and take responsibility over your own actions. I'm trying my hardest, Dad. It's just difficult. I don't really know what to do. What was that? I don't know. Uh, I'll check it out. Hey, hey you! Did you just throw something at our house? Yeah, I did, and I'd do it again, too! The city's talking about what your kid did at the park! The whole neighborhood doesn't want you here! No one with superpowers allowed! That's it, I'm calling the police! That's right, you call the police! Have them arrest that freak! Don't worry, Charlie, follow me. I don't want you anywhere around that guy. Dad, he seemed really upset. All because of me. I'm really sorry. Hey, it's fine, all right? Everyone makes mistakes. The only thing that matters is that we learn from them, okay? The only sad thing is, Charlie, we may have to move out now. But keep your head up, okay? It'll be fine, because I'm going to do whatever I can to protect you. I know you will, Dad. And I'll make it right. I'm never going to use my powers ever again. No, I never said to do that. Your powers are a part of you, okay? You can't just give that up. Seems like every time my powers come out, it just causes problems. Yeah, obviously people don't know how to react to them. But the only thing that matters is if you're using them for good. And I know you will. You have a good heart. Now look, I gotta go. I gotta go call the police. Okay, Dad. Oh, I don't want to disappoint my dad. I hate seeing him this upset. I'm gonna take control of these powers. I'm gonna make him proud of me. Please, somebody help me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, alright? Give me your money, dude! Oh no, that guy's in trouble. What should I do? The only thing that matters is if you're using them for good. And I know you will. I'm gonna listen to my dad. Hey, you! What? What do you want? Leave that guy alone. Oh my gosh, that guy went flying! You just saved me! Thank you, thank you! I'm gonna take you to the police. You're going to jail where you belong. So this is him, sir. I saw him. He was trying to hurt some guy and steal from him. He's a criminal. I ain't no criminal, man. This guy saw nothing, all right? I was just trying to enjoy my walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all about you, Hubert. Your face is printed all over the police department. You're going to jail. You did a good job, kid. Thanks, officer. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, Charlie, are you all right? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. I actually feel pretty good. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. I know. I can't believe I stopped that guy. Yeah, and most importantly, you use those powers for good. My son, a hero. I've got you right where I want you. Oh, dude, you actually just got me. I can't believe you just won that. I have to say, it's kind of nice doing something normal for once. Yeah, I mean, it's been ages since we hung out, dude. This just in, breaking news. There's a disaster taking place downtown. There's a building in the city and it's about to fall. Apparently there was some kind of explosion and it's about to collapse and there are people trapped inside. Authorities aren't able to get them out. Will anybody save these people? Sorry, man. Uh, I'll be back later. Charlie, Charlie, there you are. The building is about to fall apart. Please, please, someone help me. Is that my dad? What's he doing here? Oh, no, no. Dad, no. I'm so sorry, dad. I should have been here to save you. I promise. No matter what happens, I'm going to protect people. 
now on, I'm really gonna be a hero. Hello? Charlie, I want to come and check up on you. How are you holding up? I mean, it's been a couple weeks now. I just really miss my dad. I know, and I'm really sorry, but I actually came here to give you some bad news. Because your parents are both gone, the house belongs to the city now. Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? I'm really sorry, Charlie. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm here to give you a couple minutes to get your things, and then I have to ask you to leave. Please, this house is all I have left of my family. I'm really sorry, Charlie. There's nothing I can do. Hey, Dad. It's just me, Charlie. I just lost the house. There's no way I was going to be able to afford it, and the city took it from us. I'm really sorry. I feel like I let you down, and I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me the most. But I promise you, from now on, I'm not going to let anything like that ever happen again. I'm going to be the hero that you always told me to be, and I will make you proud. You'll see, Dad. Change? Please, does anybody have any spare change? Oh, excuse me, sir. What do you want? I'm just really, really hungry, and I'm homeless. Is there any way you could spare some change? No, I'm not gonna give you any of my money. Just go get a job, you bum. Trust me, sir, I, I do have a job. Yeah, what is it, bugging people around the city? Get lost, freak. Hey, I'm not a freak. Man, that guy was a jerk. I do have a job. This is my job. All right. Time to go on watch. Help! Help! Somebody please help! Get up, lady! I'm gonna steal your car, dude! Stop! Please! Can somebody please help me? Leave this lady alone! Ah, oh, no. Not you again. You know what? Don't make me, all right? I'm not gonna let you stop me again. I'm warning you, Hubert. This isn't gonna feel good. Yeah, what do you mean it's not gonna feel good? <laughs> this guy's a blast! Man, will that guy ever learn? Oh, oh my gosh, wait, you're a superhero. Um, oh, y yes, that's right, ma'am. I am a superhero. Thank you so much. You really saved me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a problem at all. Just part of the job. Well, is there anything I can do to thank you? Maybe take you out for dinner or something like that? That actually would be great. Thank you. I'm Charlie, by the way. What's your name? It's nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm Melissa. Dad! Paul, what's gotten you so excited? I got into the spelling bee! If, if I win, I'm gonna get some really cool stuff! That's incredible! And you're the smartest kid in your school! <laughs> You'll definitely win! Dad, you're gonna be there, right? I mean, this is a really huge deal! Of course I'm gonna be there! I wouldn't miss it for the world! Where is he at? He should have been here like 10 minutes ago! Dad, where are you? Take this, you overgrown gecko! Yeah. Um, Paul, what are you doing out here? I'm waiting for my dad. He should be here any moment now. The spelling bee is about to start, and if you're not in there, you're gonna be disqualified. I don't know. I don't want to do this without him seeing. Maybe he's on his way, and he's just gonna show up later. Listen, do you want to compete in the spelling bee or not? Yeah, I do. You're right. Let's go. Paul? Paul! Oh, there you are. Listen, I'm so, so sorry I missed the spelling bee. Are you, Dad? Are you really? Of course I'm sorry. I got a last minute call. The city was under attack by some huge lizard. I had to defeat him. People were in danger. Yeah, but you promised, Dad. You promised you'd be there. I know, Paul. I did. And uh, I'm really sorry I missed it, okay? How, how did it go? Look, I did this. I won. It's the first thing I ever won. And you weren't there to see it. That's incredible. I always knew you'd do it. You're so smart, but... Why aren't you excited about winning? I want you to be there to see it. I want my own dad to be there. I promise you, I was on the way to the school when I got that phone call. It doesn't matter anywhere, all right? You already missed it. What's done is done, Dad. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Paul, please. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, man. I really broke his heart. I need to do better. I'm Paul's father. I'm gonna be there for him. Hello? Charlie, we have an emergency. We need you right now. But my son, he needs me right now too. It's really bad down here, Charlie. There's some kind of other creature here. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. 
so glad to see you, Dad. I mean, we haven't had lunch in a while now. I know. I've been, uh, pretty busy with work, but I took some time off. I mean, your wedding is coming up soon. Yeah, I know. So many things are going well in my life. I mean, my artwork, it's in a professional exhibit for crying out loud. Like, everything's going great. You're such a talented artist. You've got to show me your work. Why don't we go now? No. No, Dad, it's okay. I mean, knowing you, you, you probably have more important stuff to do anyway, right? Do I have a lot of responsibilities? Absolutely. But there's nothing more important to me than you. You are my son. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Come on, I was just gonna head over there anyway, so let's go. Perfect, I can't wait to see it. Paul, you are an absolute genius. I am so proud of you, son. There he is, the infamous superhero of the city, Charlie. I have a few questions for you. Why don't you want to be a superhero anymore? What? What are you What are you talking about? Well, while you were spending the day with your son, a ship sank off the coast and everything was lost. What? No. That's right. You probably could have flown under that ship and pulled it out of the water. Hey, knock it off. It's not my dad's fault, all right? You shouldn't have to be there to fix every little thing. That's what a superhero is being about, kid. What's wrong with you? You need to see some stupid exhibit at the museum? Hey, don't talk to Mike's son like that. I'm just very disappointed in you, Charlie. And so is the rest of the city. Paul, I have to say this is the most beautiful wedding venue I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, thanks, Dad. I mean, it was really nice that you helped me pick it out. And Tammy seems like such a sweet girl. You know, I can't tell you enough how proud I am of you, Paul. Thanks, Dad. I'm just glad you're able to be here for this day. No, you've got to be kidding me. Hello? Charlie, you're needed downtown ASAP. I can't. It's my son's wedding. There are people's lives in danger, Charlie. Are you just going to leave them? I'm, uh, uh... Just, just go, Dad. But I might miss your wedding. It's okay. Just go. I'll be right back as quick as I can. I promise. Paul? Paul, are you still here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Man, I am so, so sorry. There was a runaway bus. And there were people in danger. I had to save it. Did you save everyone, Dad? I did. And that's all that matters. But Paul, I missed your wedding. This is the biggest day of your life. Hey, sometimes it happens. I mean, yeah, it was my wedding day, but if it meant saving people's lives, I think it's pretty selfish of me to want you here when you needed to be out there. So you don't hate me? You're not upset? No, and I'm sorry. I mean, I think I've just been really rude and selfish over the years, but, but I get it. Oh, Paul, there you are. Man, you're looking bigger every time I see you. Yeah, I'm just so happy. We're going to be able to be together and celebrate your 100th birthday. I uh, know, 100 years. Man, I'm getting old. No, you're not, Dad. You look like you're still 20. Ah! Help! Seems like something's going on. Yeah, and I think you need to go. Thank you, son. You! Stop right there! I have this explosive, and I'm going to punish the entire city and take it over! Everything will be mine! Maybe we can talk this out peacefully, son. You don't want to do anything rash. You're the one that has the rash, old man, from sitting in your chair all day and watching your story. <laughs> I've defended this city for years, and I'm not gonna let some punk destroy it! Oh, really? Well then try and stop this. <laughs> oh no, the countdown! It's too short! I better keep flying! We're here today to pay respects to a fallen hero. Charlie was the hero that this city needed. He was the best of us, the best this city had to offer, and we must live on in his memory. I used to complain about my dad. I was selfish. All the time, he missed things in my life, and I just wanted him there. But I found out later down the line that he wasn't selfish. He was doing the most selfless thing a man could do, and that was to be there for others. He was a hero. He was my hero. There will be no one else like him. Hello, citizens of my new city. <laughs> I'm not gonna let some dumb old superhero ruin my plan this time. You! You're the one that my dad was fighting that night! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! Oh! What was that? You know, Paul, maybe this city has another hero after all. Welcome to the world, my beautiful baby Peter. What? What was that? <laughs> Our time, it ran out. We have to escape now. May, please, I beg you, watch over baby Peter. Come on, we have no other option. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what are you doing? Get, get off me. You heard him. Back off. Hey, what? what hey, what are you? Oh, ah! Ugh. Ah, I'm sick of this, man. Nah, I don't want to deal with this. Let's go, Henry. <laughs> Spider-Man? Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. See you around. Oh, man, that was a close one. Harry, are you okay? Peter, you wouldn't imagine what just happened. I heard you calling for help. Yeah, a couple guys just started beating me up, but then that spider punk just came in and took care of them for me. Whoa. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah, I mean, even if he didn't come, I could have taken care of it myself. Last thing I want is help from him. That guy's Spider-Man. He's a hero. No, he's not. He's a freak. And I hope I never see him again. Peter had a hard time knowing that his best friend hated the other side of him. He had to deal with this, and also just had a tough time balancing his life as it is a Spider-Man. But the biggest problem he faced was feeling abandoned by his parents. Peter, you look so upset. What's wrong? Aunt May, I just feel so alone. Oh, but Peter, you're not alone. You have me. You're right, of course, but... It's your mom and dad. I just can't stop thinking about them, and I wish I knew what happened to them, and why. Peter, you have to stop focusing on the past. Focus on the present. Of course, Aunt May, as always, you're right. Wait a minute, that reminds me. Aren't you supposed to go somewhere tonight? <laughs> oh my gosh, the party. You're right. I'll be back later, Aunt May. I hope they're not mad. Peter, it's about time you made it. Yeah, sorry. I thought you'd be too busy to make it. Yeah, right. You guys are my best friends. I'm always going to make time for you. Yeah, but sometimes it'd just be nice if, you know, you can show up on time for once. I just got distracted, Harry. That's all. I'm sorry. Whatever, man. Hello there. Ah, you monster. How dare you call me a monster. Well, that's what you are. Go away. You heard the lady. Stay away from her. Time to crush the itsy bitsy spider. Ah. Ah. Huh. Ah. 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 You know, huh. you won't be able to protect ah. Ah. Mary Jane. Huh. How do you know her name? <laughs> I know who you are too, Peter. That's not my name. Soon, everyone will know. Who Spider-Man is? <laughs> Mary Jane, where is she? MJ! Peter, I'm over here. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. Wait a second, how did you know it was me? Who is he? Who is the Green Goblin? Ah, ah, oh, oh, Peter. No one knows who he is, and no one's seen him either. You're lying, Doc Ock. I know you are. Oh, you really did a number on me. I think my leg is broken. Shut up! Tell me, where is Green Goblin? Fine, he's hiding in a secret base. Now's my chance. Ah! 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 Peter, it's gonna be okay. MJ, what am I doing here? Do they? No, I made sure no one knew that you were Spider-Man. I just made up a lie. I said you fell off a roof. Oh, thank goodness. And thanks for you. You always have my back. I can't keep seeing you hurt like this, Peter. It's tearing me apart. I'm sorry, MJ. It's what I have to do. I now know where Goblin is. I'm going to find him. Peter, where are you going? Mary Jane. Harry. Where did Peter go? Your time is up, Goblin. <laughs> the only person's time who is up is yours. Who are you? <laughs> ah, Norman? We know each other's secrets, Peter Parker. Why, Norman? You're my best friend's dad. Yeah, I've known you since the day you were born. What are you talking about? Don't you ever wonder how your parents are gone? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I killed your parents because they knew too much. Those stupid secret agents trying to reveal my identity. Not on my watch. And speaking of which, I think it's time to go. Ah! Norman, 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 answer me. Dad. Harry, oh, no. Wait, what, what was that? Dad, Dad, who did this to you? Harry, <coughs> Spider-Man did this to me. I gotta talk to Harry. That green goblin? I need to end this once and for all. Wait a minute, Harry? Peter, what are you doing here? I just came to see you, but what are you doing? It's the green goblin suit. Listen, I didn't want you to find out. You need to keep your mouth shut about this. I have things I need to do in honor of my father. Harry, please don't do this. Shut up, Peter. You wouldn't understand. Harry, I understand, okay? I don't have my family either. Just please listen to me. You're not gonna change my mind, okay? I need to go out and get Spider-Man and finally find out who he is. Well, he's right here in front of you. What, 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 what did you just say? It's me. I'm Spider-Man. No, no, that, that can't be, you killed 
My dad? No, Harry, I didn't. You liar. Harry, I am your best friend, okay? I love you. I always have your back. I'm not trusting another word coming out of your mouth. Your dad did this to himself. You better get out of here right now before I really show you how I took over. Get out. Ow. Man, my arm. Peter, oh my gosh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I saw the huge explosion on the news. And everyone thought Spider-Man was dead. I was petrified. Well, I'm okay. I made it out alive. Well, yeah, this time. Peter, I hate this. I hate worrying about you all the time. Mary Jane, I'm so sorry. I can see this is causing you a lot of pain, but this is something I have to do. No, you have choices. I do. And I choose to love you with all my heart. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I love you too. But I cannot live my life knowing if you're going to live or die every single day. I want someone that can put me first and take our lives together seriously. I do take us seriously. I just can't quit being Spider-Man. It's who I am. Well, then I think it's better that we stay away from each other for a while. Wait, MJ, wait. Goodbye, Peter. Oh, come on, Greg. I thought you learned your lesson. You just got out of jail. Dude, come on. You know I need the money, Spider-Man. Let me get away. Okay. Wait, wait, really? No! Hand over the money! Man, why don't you just get a normal job? Fine, fine. All right, here. Just, just here's the money. Just don't hurt me. <gasps> ah! Oh, no, an accident. MJ. Mary Jane. No, no. Mary Jane, are you all right? Stay with me. Peter? Oh... It's me. I'm here. I'm here now. Everything's okay. Ow. All right. We're going to take you to the hospital. Peter was scared. He didn't know if MJ was going to make it, but he stayed with her until she healed. They started to spend some time with each other again, and it reminded Mary Jane of why she fell in love with Peter to begin with. They both realized that Peter would always be Spider-Man, but Mary Jane would always be the love of his life. They ended up getting married and started a life together until the next Spider-Man arised. Huh. Ben, take it easy. No, no, I got this, look. See, look at that. Ah! 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 You're right, I do see. I see you face down on the ground. <laughs> I did that too when I first started. Come on, dad, I could be a hero too. I know you can be a hero, but you need to be patient. It didn't just happen overnight for me. I had to learn how to be Spider-Man. Just, why can't it just happen now? Because that's what you want more than anything. All good things in life are worth waiting for. I just, I don't think so. Ben, where are you going? I'm walking home. I want to think. Well, what do we have here? A little tiny spider. <laughs> yeah, I wish. What do you want? I have a job for you, if you want it. Really? Of course. You've got pure power, kid. I could use someone like you. Peter, you need to see this. What is it? That's right. Supervillains are destroying the city. That's Ben. I can't believe you do this. <laughs> Isn't this fun? What? No, I thought we were supposed to be helping people. Helping people? No, we're here to cause chaos. Hey, you! Well, if it isn't old Spider-Man, there's no way you can... Oh! Dad, Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this was going to happen. I cannot believe you, Ben. You turned your back on everything I raised you on. No, I didn't. That guy, he lied to me. I thought we were going to be here helping people. Some people let their power go to their head and turn them. Not everybody is good. And you can't trust them. I know. I, I learned that today. I just want to go home. I'm sorry. I know you are. Now, come on. Let's go home. Oh, no. Mary Jane, there's something going on downtown. Oh, Peter. You must not go. You're not in the condition to do this anymore. I'll be fine. Now, come on. Be realistic. You're a hundred years old. Just have Ben go and do it. He can handle it. With my help. Ben, suit up. Dad, I promise I can handle this. Let me go. You two worry way too much. I can still be a hero. Thank you, Spider-Man. Of course. Ah! ah! They hate you so much for saving my life! Don't mention it. He was a hero, Mom. And he died being one. And I promise... Then I'm gonna be a hero just like him. Here he is, miss. Your healthy baby boy, Tony. Oh my goodness, he is beautiful. Don't you think, Howard? Howard, we need to go now. What is happening outside? No time. Get your family and let's go. Howard, we're under attack. 
What do we do? We need to defend ourselves. Stan's right. We have to go underground now. It seems as though everyone loves making an enemy out of me. Howard, I am scared. Maria, you'll be fine. Take Tony into the underground bunker. I'll get this handled. And he did resolve things. After all of this, Howard Stark made the biggest company in the world. A company that was aimed to make weapons and machinery to defend people in the civilizations of Roblox. Because of his inventions, there was always a target on his back. So he swore to always protect everyone around him. And these weapons would do the job. Tony saw this and was at awe. All he wanted was to be like his father. So he tried. Ah! ah! <coughs> Well, that didn't go so good. <laughs> Another failed bodysuit. Tony, what are you doing? Wait a second. That's from my lab. Look, I just I just wanted to be like you, okay? I want to invent something too. I know I can. How many times do I have to tell you? Do not mess with my equipment. Dad, come on. How else am I supposed to spend time with you? This is the only way I can get through to you because you never spend time with me or mom. You've got a smart mouth, Tony. You better watch out or it'll get you in trouble. I'm your father. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. You know exactly how hard I have to work to keep this world safe. You wait and see. When you start working with me, you'll understand all this pressure that I'm going through. But Tony never got that chance. Right before his 18th birthday, both of his parents had to go on a business trip, and it ended up with them getting into a car accident, neither of them making it. The only person left to take over this company was Tony. The world was counting on him. All right, let's hope for the best. Oh, hi. Mr. Stark, I'm gonna be your new assistant. Oh, it's uh, it's nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Pepper, and if you need anything at all, just let me know. I I'll count on it. I did come in here to update you that the weapons test is ready. My father's latest invention's already ready? All right, I guess let's begin the test. Okay, sir, we finished the weapon according to your dad's specifications. We hope you like it too. All right, let's see what you guys got. So all that we need to do is actually- Oh! Ah! 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 No, no. What happened? Oh my gosh, Mr. Stark, you're awake. Yeah, I am. Last thing I remember, there was an explosion. Yeah, it completely wiped you and the other scientists out. Thankfully, we were able to recover you at least. Wait, what? The scientist, he, he didn't make it? No, sir. You were the only survivor. My family's weapon did this? No. No more. What? What do you mean? I'm shutting down the weapon division, Stain. All of it. I have to. Are you seriously that stupid, Tony? That's your father's biggest project. His pride and glory. I don't care. We can find a way to make things that are going to help defend people, not hurt them. Just think about this. I already did. Thank you all for coming here. I have a very important announcement that I need to make. Tony told the world what he had to. He promises to only invent things that are going to help defend the world, not destroy it. Which is what brought him to his next invention idea. His best one yet. His suit. Uh, okay, okay. Go back down. It, it passed. It, it passed the test. It works. Mark 1 is complete. Now I think it's time to really try this thing out. Whoa! Help, please, someone! What? What's that? My brakes aren't working! Ah! I can't stop! I have to do something! Ah! Ah! Whoa! What are you? Well, kid, I'm the reason that you're still alive. Yeah, you're a hero. Listen, I guess I am. Just be more careful and don't walk in the middle of the street like that. I gotta go. There are reports of a flying red machine all around the city. Is this a friend or an enemy? <sighs> that was incredible. Hey, Pepper! Tony, do you have any idea what's going- Wait a minute. Oh. My. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Y you're the red thing that's flying around the city? I mean, it's more than a thing. It's like my life's work, but listen, you're the only person that knows and I want to keep it that way, okay? I trust you. Y you trust me? Of course I do. You're the closest person in my life. Wait a minute. Uh, Tony, Tony, there are people in the city looking for you. You wrecked a car. Hey, that car got destroyed because it was about to hit a kid. I saved him. Why, Tony? Why did you do this? Why did you make something like this? Pepper, I made this suit in honor of continuing my dad's company for what it should be. And I'm going to keep doing it. Well, about your company, you're not going to like the sounds of this. But I think Stain is trying to reopen the weapons branch. Stain? Is it true? That I'm an incredible businessman? Of course it is. I had to open the weapon branch again. I told you how I felt about it. It only makes things that are gonna hurt people, and that's not okay. Tony! No, Stain. You're fired. What? You can't fire me! I'm on the board of directors! You were on the board. You should have never went behind my back and did this. If your dad could see you right now, he would be so disappointed in you. One day, you're gonna pay for this! Stain never forgot this. 
He would keep that promise and get back at Tony. But as for Iron Man, he became a hero. He saved people in need and always made sure to do the right thing. Pepper couldn't be more proud of him, which led to them falling in love. I'm here to make a very special announcement, everyone. The rumors are true. I am Iron Man. I knew it! I knew he was! It's just so crazy! This is insane! Mr. Stark! Mr. Stark! Yeah? Do you think your father, the former CEO, would be proud of all the changes this company's made? That's it. Thank you, everyone. Hey, don't worry about that guy. Your father would be proud. Yeah, I just... I, I don't know. I mean, my dad never really showed me his loving side, so... Either way, I, I know I did the right thing telling everyone. You're right. No more living a double life, especially knowing that we want to start one together. But I have to be honest, I found something when I was moving in. Really? What? Looks like your dad made something for you before he passed away. Wait, what? My dad's been gone for over 10 years now, and you're saying I'm seeing this now? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to say, but I think you should watch it. When you're ready, though, don't rush into it. <laughs> that self-absorbed jerk. He'll see. Soon my suit will be ready. And I'll get my payback. <laughs> what did you have to tell me, Dad? Hello, Tony. <laughs> Wait, who are you? How did you get that suit? You like it? I created it after you kicked me out. Wait, S Stain? Think about what you're doing. I've been thinking about it for the last nine years. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Stain! Stop this! You can't stop me! Think about what you're doing! Well, look at the so-called hero. Iron Man would be ashamed. <laughs> Don't do it! Goodbye, Tony. Say hi to your father for me. No, no! Pepper! Pepper! Tony! Tony, oh my gosh! Get up! I just, I, I had nowhere else to go. I'm just glad you're okay. I can't believe Stain would just do something like this. Yeah, I don't know how he can even build something like that to begin with, too. But I let him get the best of me. I also just think he's in your head a little bit. I know he used to be your dad's friend and everything. Yeah, and then he brought up me being a failure to my dad, and I just... Well, I think you should watch the drive, okay? Go ahead. I'll leave you be. I think she's right. Wow. There he is. Hi, Dad. Take a look around, Tony. The lab is pretty incredible, isn't it? One day, all of this will be yours. I've created plenty of things in my lifetime, but my greatest creation was you, Tony. I know you're going to do great things one day. You can overcome all of your challenges by being the smartest person in the room. I, uh, I love you, son. Wow. I love you too, Dad. And I think I know what I need to do now. Come on. Where is he? Ha! There you are! You're bold, Tony! Showing up at my warehouse! I'm here to end this stain! Sure, sure! This time, you're not getting away! Ha! Ha! You missed! Ha! Ah, my suit is more powerful than yours ever will be! Well, that doesn't matter! Don't be ridiculous! Of course it does! Strength is everything! See, since both of us invented it, you know that there's one thing that's keeping both of our suits going. The arc reactors. Ha! Oh! Can't move, can you, Stain? Uh, uh, no, no, it's too heavy. The armor is too heavy. You know, the most valuable thing in someone is their brain. It's important to always be the smartest man in the room. And that's what my dad taught me. You're going to jail. After sending Stain to jail, Tony felt at ease with his life. He knows his dad was proud of him. He wanted to settle down and decided to get married with Pepper. Together, they had a family. They had a son. And he turned out to be just like Tony. Which is why on his son's 18th birthday, he wanted to introduce something to him. Alright, Dad. I understand this is your lab. What are you going to show me this time? I want to introduce something to you. I think you're finally at the age to handle this responsibility. Dad, what are you talking about? It's time the world met a new Iron Man. I'm getting pretty old. I can't do it on my own. No, wait. Dad, are you serious? Ah, this is awesome! I promise, I'm gonna make you proud. Just wait and see. Dad, you're like a hundred years old, okay? You shouldn't be doing this anymore. Quiet, quiet. You're still talking to the smartest man alive. I want the rest of my life to be exciting. Let me have this. All right, all right. I know once you make up your mind, there's no changing it. Just want you to be careful. That's all. Help! All right, and that's my cue. I got this. 
Oh, no! My arc reactor! Oh! Oh! Dad! No! No, Dad, please don't go! Please! Please don't go! My arc reactor, it's dying, son. I just want you to continue to make me proud.